Greetings, greetings, and welcome, my beautiful kings and queens. Thank you so much for joining this podcast of business solutions after 2020 pandemic. And I'm Darina Shine, and what I do here on YouTube is create uh, content, business content, um, success-driven content for the new entrepreneur, and I give um, inspirational conversations. So thank you so much for being here. (laughs) So today I want to talk to you about how to make the best out of any life situation. And you know, this full moon, see I study universalism and this full moon lunar eclipse has shown me a great deal about the missions of others. The power within the process is what I'm going to talk about here. I'm going to share a few ways that I make the best out of situations. And God knows those who know me, they know I've gone through some situations, right? So I want to say that we all experience something that is a life-changing life lesson. And it is not up to us to continue to judge ourselves for that. We should be growing from that growing through what we're going through. And uh, so that made me decide that I would share this topic today. So I have a few pointers that I want to put out to you today. Number one, the way to make the best out of any life situation is put the entire situation into perspective. What is it? What is in it for you first and foremost? If it is something that is going to promote your success, your abundance, your future goal settings to succeed in a good positive way where you're not hurting anyone, but you're helping, you're assisting, you're goal driving, then put that into perspective. And it has, and if it has nothing to do with you, throw it away. It's a weed, throw it away and keep moving. Separate yourself, separate yourself. So if a conversation is something that you don't want to deal with, you don't have to. And no one should make you have to. Because if they're coming to you and they're in your arena, they're there to experience what you have to offer and input in that, share in that, and succeed to make it happy and successful for all involved. Leading me to number two, reflect on past situations and see how they've always turned out. Is it anger, jealousy, or narcissistic tendencies playing a role in your life to distract you? Many times that's the case. Or simply just ignorance among those who could be possible attention seekers with no real goal in mind. They're not really doing anything with their lives. They don't really want you to do anything with yours. But <clears throat> again, you have the floor. This is your time to shine. So you're going to either accept that, what they want for your life, or you're going to accept what you plant in your own life, what you don't want detach from and move forward, which turns to number three, accept the situation for what it is. Someone told me when we accept situations as simply being life lessons or observational studies, we become leaders over that phenomena. And I agree with that statement. I agree. So no one can plant anything into your mind other than the existence of or the intentional, purposeful thought of a fearful content that you allow to grow. And this leads me to number four. Focus on what really matters in the present moment, because fear is false evidence only appearing real to those who allow it to reside in two places, the past, what we've experienced, or the future, what we're fearful of, that will grow. So we always have the present moment to honor. So honor that moment, own that room in the moment, be present in the moment, stay focused on your goals and achievements and your successes and keep moving forward in that moment. And then the next moment will bring another successful opportunity 
and then another successful opportunity. And then before you know it, all the weeds will be scattered. Because the good within us can only reside with the good around us. So entertaining those that have different agendas could somehow throw us off our game. So we should not be unequally yoked. We should not be connected to those who are not focused on the mission in which we have created for ourselves. And focus on what really matters in that present moment. Honor that moment. Claim that room. When that narcissist comes to your face, you put that narcissist in their place. When a control freak comes into your space and tries to devour what it is you're doing, you put that control freak in its place and move it out of your psyche. Don't play with the energy because that energy has the strength to be serpent related. It could, you know, do a lot of damage. So we don't want that. So we need to focus on what really matters in our present moment and stay aware and awake. Number five, embrace change. Realize that people will change whenever they choose to. Don't take this personal. Don't expect people to be in your corner all the time. When they leave, don't beg them to stay. When they're ready to leave, they will. And always remember that I was watching a Medea play and it. someone said, a lady knows when it's time to leave the room, when it's time to exit the room. So, you know, we can't exit our own uh, theatrical appearance. You know what I mean? So we have to let others know when it's time to exit the door. Exit left, ex exit center, <laughs> exit right. You know, um, I'll catch you another day when I have nothing else to do and I want to entertain the weeding out of my garden, you know, Um and don't take it personal. Don't beg them, you know? And number six, as I said last week, accept lemons and make lemonade from what has gone array and make a profit out of it. Number seven, keep getting better at each attempt to succeed. You're growing. And in this growth, you're going to find people are going to just wither away from the scenario and only the good ones will last. You know, someone made a statement that Youngstown was all about dying young. Absolutely not. In the mindsets of others and their experience, that can be the situation. But if you claim victory over your own life, guess what? That will never touch you. That will never touch you. Why? Because it's false evidence appearing real. And only when we plant the seed and buy into it, will it occur. And I refuse to allow it to occur. I would prefer to appreciate abundance, acceptance, life, generosity to all the young in this community in which I live. So keep getting, keep getting better at each attempt to succeed. You are growing. You're growing through what you're going through. So I want to leave one little saying, another quote I found very impressive the other day. Um, and it is a real meditative quote. And it is by an unknown author that says, your mind is a garden. Your thoughts are your seeds. You can grow flowers or you can grow weeds. The choice is yours. Thank you so much for joining this podcast today. If there's anything that you find helpful in this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you are interested in a 15-minute free coaching conversation, please feel free to contact the number in front of you or inbox me at the email um, but in the description box below. And please come back and join this channel every Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our business premiere. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Um, blessed up universal up, peace up, just stay up and we'll see you next time.